trying to see whether we could find the relationship between um, people's actual exposure to air pollution um, with the, the noise levels. Um, slight challenge that it's basically really windy today um, and the air is basically really clean after kind of Doris coming through. Um, so, but the idea was we, we went out, so ideally build all of this thing into one app and you just use it on your phone. We were piecing together kind of various apps to try and give us the information. Um, so we found um, the particle instruments. So we actually also went out with like Jim yesterday. He had this particle uh, black carbon uh, measuring device. So it's drawn airing in onto a filter and uh, doing measurements. I've got this, um, I've got a couple of these particle number counters. Um, so we just pulled off, just aligned the kind of time series. So we've got a uh, particle number count, and as noise is on a kind of log scale, we also put um, particle number count on a kind of on, on a log scale as well. And then we can try and align those. And these are the kind of sound, the raw sound pressure level, um, the dB, dBA. So it's weighted for kind of human's ears response to sound pressure levels and then uh, LA equivalent as uh, uh, kind of average measure and so then we saw okay so I normalize them all by the minimum the, the min and the max so we can kind of put them on one graph can we see anything um, not really um, a lot of noise um, a few spikes in the you go back to the kind of. I go back one. Yeah. So <clears throat> this top one is just yeah, the raw particle number count. So we can, there's a few spikes there. This one was around uh, the corner exchange by the kind of bus stop. So it just it just so happened that uh, maybe the air was kind of stagnant in that part. Whereas on other streets, you'd walk into the street and a gust of cold wind hit you, and the levels would be low, actually slightly lower than. We're measuring kind of in this room. Um, 